Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and I have five quick knife reviews for you guys. This is the Alliance Designs Anchovy, and you can still get this. I believe Knife Center has some available still. Beautiful hollow ground drop point blade. It has. It's almost a straight back, but it does have this swedge up top with the tip going down. Nice precision guided tip that's reinforced with a little bit of steel on the sides. Beautifully well done hollow ground blade. Bead blasted titanium frame lock. It does have the grooves milled in. Some of them have holes. This one has the grooves. The pivot collar and the hardware is anodized blue, polished and then anodized blue. Detent is very well tuned. It does feel high end. Um, flipper tab is a small flipper tab, as you can see, but it does have the jimping on it. Now, it does work very well. I have skipped off it a couple times, but once you get used to it, it's very reliable. Titanium milled clip. I'm not a big fan of this clip, but, you know, it works. It's a clip. And the, the lock bar access is a little tight. They don't have a cutout, so you do have to come around to the front. It works just fine, but, you know, just note that, that uh, they don't have a cutout for the lock bar, so you do have to come around to the front side of it to use it. The blade nicely fits very tight inside the scale. It's a good-looking knife, great-looking knife, and Alliance Designs builds, or they have, amazing build quality in their knives so you know this is no exception and yeah very very nice like i said you can find these or find some still left on knife center next we have the protech newport so i did a quick video on one of these before this one was in for a little bit of clip repair but i figured i might as well throw it in a video because ooh, did you hear that because i don't have very many videos on the protect newport listen to this when it closes Whoo! i love that sound when and you feel it suck in so you have an automatic with a button and you don't you can't really accidentally push the button it does have an aluminum or aluminum scales to it with this beautiful blue so you have to mean to push the button because it's inset you know in the scale so when you deliberately push it it does fly out with authority nice strong thwack comfortable little knife drop point blade beautiful stone washing and it is a flat ground blade very very nice now this one is an s35 vn nice sharpening choil right there and you can one hand close it which i think is awesome so yeah very cool very awesome little knife if you're looking for a little automatic protect newport is an awesome awesome knife Next, we have the Drop Links. Now, there are some still available on Amazon. You can find them. I haven't found this version, but they have the carbon fiber version. If you can find this version, it goes for about $180. The carbon fiber version is about $280, but it is a titanium liner lock, titanium clip. Um, very, very well done. Riat is the one who does these, so you know the build qualities there very very good thumb stud action um and with the flipper tab they got the detent on point with this so regardless of using the flipper tab or the thumb studs both of them come out with authority and these thumb studs man it's just they're so easy to use the detent is strong but very well tuned has a nice smack to it when it opens up we have pretty much like a spay point blade here um, almost like a sheep's foot, but nice, deep, hollow ground blade, uh, generous choil. So you're going to get some good slicing, nice and thin behind the edge. The spine of it is almost crowned. Uh, it is rounded and yeah, great, great knife. So this is by drop, but like I said, Riette does make them. 
and yes this is you know great great quality and they do have multiple different styles now if i was going to make a couple complaints the one complaint is is the liner is you know it's not tough to get to obviously i've been doing it this whole time but you know it would have been nice to have a little bit bigger of a cutout you do kind of got to smash your finger in there the next thing is the detent where the, they have a ramp so the detent where the ramp is when you unlock it it lands right there it's right where it lands when i unlock it now if i hold really low i can get past it oh, not that time i can get past it but if i hold it where it wants to go it hits that detent uh ramp so this just it want you wind up playing you know getting the double clutch where it's constantly trying to fight to get back onto the detent because it starts there and the ramp ends there so that's uh that's a long spot and that's why sometimes detent ramps are not a good thing they're great if they're very early but in this case it's not early so but <clears throat> if that doesn't really bother you like if you know that's never really bothering you and you mostly just close your knife with your fingers or by slapping it shut it's not going to be that big of a deal and you can get past it so but you know I, i'm just you know i'm nitpicking and that is the one thing that annoys me just a little bit other than that though man this is a top-notch knife great great quality awesome knife and because it's so thin they got the nice choil the plunge grinds done right it is titanium nice big stop pin so many things are done awesome on this knife next now this one i don't think you guys can find anymore but they do have the micarta version out that you can get for a very very good price like like 40 bucks this is the tucson ts85 so i haven't been able to find any more of these titanium versions and i'm not saying that you won't be able to or that they won't make any more because they might but i can find the micarta liner lock version which like i said is a bit cheaper than this one but this is one of tucson's older models but man <laughs> build quality is still on point action is great it is more of a you know a heavy chunky boy of a knife but man awesome awesome build beautiful cutout for the um lock bar nice big flipper tab that works great whether you're push buttoning or light switching it just works the detent is on point nice big hardware this is in d2 so it is one of their budget options i doubt this thing would have ever, would have ever been sold for more than 80 dollars, and you could probably get it on ebay a lot cheaper like probably 50 bucks or something if you bid on it especially being one of their older models it does deserve or i think it'd be great with a finger choil right there so i think somebody told me they added one in on theirs yeah with a finger choil oh man that's a, that'd be such a good idea no milling on the scales uh two sons earlier models a lot of them didn't have milling now most of them do unless if they have you know um scales on the outside or anything like that but most of their you know plain titanium knives do have a lot of milling but their older ones didn't but the build quality is there great knife awesome quality awesome action and yeah it really shows you where tucson came from and you know yes they've um did or have done a lot to improve um their knives and their quality and everything but man they started out on a good path <laughs> on a really good path now this one i am going to do the review of the lockback version but this is a slippy um this is the bevy so the lockback version of this because this is the slip joint version is um called the swedge so this is the concept bevy the packaging that comes with this is amazing you got a beautiful pouch um, a lot of these knives all had great uh, pouches but and then you still have a box like 
just everything that comes with this knife is awesome um this one has the jg10 scale so you can dye them whatever color you want but they do come in other options this is not the only option like my uh my swedge is in beautiful carbon fiber very very well done carbon fiber 154 cm it is just a little clip point blade but the pull on it is nice and easy very easy to open very easy to close so it's going to go great for, you know, um, you know, the grandpas in your life, somebody who maybe doesn't have the pull strength like they used to, or somebody who just does not like those heavy, heavy pulling slip joints. This one's very easy to open. And, you know, once it's open, as long as you're not hitting the spine, it's going to be, you know, strong enough to do just about anything, um, you know, for cutting tasks, at least the ergos are pretty good i can get a four finger grip if i go all the way up right here but yeah what a cool little knife it's nice and rounded and contoured in all the right spots i love the stone washing that's on the blade it is a, a thicker blade so it's not going to be uh, a little laser but in this case it doesn't matter because what you're going to be using this knife for the edge that you put on as long as it's sharp it will work for for whatever and um and it's not like it's like stupid thick it's just got that nice strong thickness to it to where you know you're not gonna have to worry about the edge you know getting damage and everything from you know from light duty so it's gonna work great and yeah it will be a great cutter so these are available you can get these i like the logo the little s it looks kind of like a snake but like I said, these do come in multiple different options, and they also have the lockback version if you're worried about, you know, the slippy part. Part If you don't like a, a, a non-locking knife, then they do have the swedge, which is a locking version. Next, now this one is, you can still get it, but they are discontinued. And it makes me so upset because this was my favorite knife from Real Steel. This is the Real Steel Griffin, but this is the high-end version. This is the Real Steel Griffin Titanium and M390 version. They had the aluminum and uh, 14C28N version, which I used to have and I loved it. Such a great knife. The action is so good. It is a button lock. One of the strongest button locks I ever had. I mean, it's just a super solid uh, button lock. And if you look, the stop pin is nice and big. And then the lock pin is nice and big. Like, it's just, it's built very strong for a button lock. And the pivot is on needle bearings. So it has roller bearings. The action's really good. The geometry's amazing. The sharpening twill's amazing. It's a knife that was made to last as a button lock. I'm not a big fan of these inlays. However, the aluminum version didn't have these. It was just a plain aluminum version. Uh, but the titanium version, they did come with these inlays that I don't like. But the clip works great. And, you, and some people say it looks weird, but it works great. And it kind of does go with the flow of the knife. But I wish they wouldn't have discontinued this. And if they were going to, like they did, they should have came out with a 2.0 model. Just an upgraded version of it. Maybe change a couple things and just make it maybe a little bit better. Big hardware, that would have been awesome. Um, take out the inlays. There's just a couple things they could have did to this and would have made it a huge competitor. Because I know these inlays stopped a lot of people from buying them. But whew, such a good knife, man. It's such a good knife. And I loved mine. And the aluminum one you could get for like 65 bucks when they were out. Now, these are still available. I think there's a few left. You can find them. I forget what website still has them. I think Knife Center might have them. I'm not positive. Stupid smooth, man. And when it's locked up, it's so solid. Such a great knife. I, I really wish they wouldn't have uh, discontinued this because once they're sold out, they're gone forever. It does have a little lock right here. So you can lock it so you can't unlock the button. Awesome, awesome knife. So there you guys go. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.